Bom dia, irmãos e irmãs. Uh, espero que o seu dia esteja indo bem. E grato pela assinatura. Graças pela assinatura. Uh, what I just said was, I hope you guys, good morning. I hope you guys are having a good day. And thank you for subscribing. I just popped in really quick just to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, I think over the weekend I hit over 400 subscribers. And while to some people that may not be or it may be kind of insignificant, for me it's very significant and I'll tell you why. When I started this channel, I did so with the intention of just bringing awareness to the part or the aspects of Brazil that I love from more of a, an American perspective, seeing that I'm mostly here in America. I do go back and forth, but seeing that I'm here and I am involved in, in the Brazilian community. So I wanted to, you know, obviously let people know the things about Brazil that I love, the things that I find out, new information, uh, people that I encounter here and over there. And so, you know, I want to kind of make it interactive as much as I possibly can, and I'll continue to do so. And I'm also uh, grateful because at one point I started and then, you know, sometimes life gets in the way and then I kind of backed off for a little bit. But since then I've picked it back up and it's kind of full steam ahead on my part and I am uh, muito obrigado para vocês. I am very thankful uh, uh, and appreciative uh, to you guys, to everyone, uh, todos vocês, everyone. Um, so anyway, um, I, had a, a, I had a quick question. I just want to kind of say something about this before I uh, get off. And uh, uh, a dear brother, and uh, he knows who he is, um, he sent me a message and it was, uh, well, let me backtrack. So over the weekend, my wife and I, we had the opportunity to attend a Brazilian Samba. Uh, for me, it was, uh, how can I say it? Mio, uh, mio primero uh, show do Samba. Uh, and it was Achimo, very good. It was my very first Samba show and it was very good. Uh, Thiago Martins, shout out to Thiago Martins. Uh, it was awesome, man. I tell you, the people were the people were just as friendly as as, as we know Brazilians to be. The crowd, you know, they came in. Um, it was just everybody just had a good time. Well, anyway, um, the brother said he 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 thought uh, initially. Well, as he as he watched the video, he thought that I was actually in Brazil, um, but uh, I was here. So, uh, and here for me is uh, Florida. So. There are a lot of there's there's a there are a lot of Brazilians in Florida and in and, and a lot of different parts of the country, but it 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 almost acts as though and this is what I this is what I uh, this is the message that I sent him. It almost acts as though it's a closed society. Uh, it's not, but it almost it acts as though it is. What do I mean by that? Well, this is what I mean. I had been where I am for a long time, even after I had went to Brazil. Um, on my first trip, when I came back, I only know one, maybe two Brazilians. Now, through the Brazilians that I knew, they would introduce me to different people here and there, but it was mostly sporadic. However, when I met my wife, who was my girlfriend first, she opened me up to an entire new world. It was almost like the Matrix kind of, you know what I'm saying? You swallow the red pill and it's almost like you start seeing all these people. And in every community, especially, uh, I can definitely speak for Florida, I can speak for Georgia, I can speak for and definitely the places up north, and even a lot of places out west, because my wife and I, we have friends out there. Um, the Brazilian community is pretty large, and a lot of times people say, well, if it acts as though it's a closed community, they may not necessarily be accepting of uh, non-Brazilians. Not true. If you know anything about Brazilians, Brazilian culture, they are very, uh, they are extremely friendly people. Uh, they are welcoming of others, and if you really want to make a Brazilian smile, learn a little Portuguese. Sometimes saying hola, or saying oi, or saying um, if somebody does something nice for you, obrigado, uh, they say de nada, you know, just just learn a little bit because it is a compliment for uh, a non-Brazilian to learn Portuguese. If you really want to make them smile, speak a little Portuguese. Well, anyway, if you go on Facebook or if you Google Brazilian communities, where I am and you put your city, then you might be surprised at what what appears. There are, there are uh, their community is, is pretty substantial um, in regards to what you might be thinking. So 
when you do that, especially on like Facebook and Instagram pages or whatever, then they have different events, right? So they'll have business events, they'll have like a cookout, uh, shahashtu type events, they'll have barbecue events. And people say, well, is it open to the public? Listen, if they put it out, it's open to the public. But because a lot of people aren't really either concerned or either don't know, uh, most of the time it's just Brazilian. And I think I like the fact of how uh, the Brazilian community is pretty much a self-contained entity. In other words, everything that they need, they extract from each other. So they, a lot of times uh, on those uh, groups, uh, those Facebook pages or Instagram pages or WhatsApp groups, they'll have, so if somebody's looking for something, if somebody needs uh, any type of work, trabalho, any type of work, any type of um, anything, you know, dental work, medical work, um, you name it, plumbing, uh, uh, beautician work, uh, estheticians, all of that, it runs the gamut. It's all on those Facebook groups and uh, those Instagram and, and groups and, and, and the like. So I, I challenge everybody, if you like my content, if you are curious about Brazil, uh, but uh, are kind of on the fence of should I go or not, or if you've gone to Brazil and if you're like everyone else, you know, you, you, you know, you go over there, you enjoy yourself, you come back over here, you do what you need to do to get ready to go back over there. Well, while you're here, you can definitely experience the taste of Brazil, and you can do so through the Brazilian community of where you are. Where you are. So, in any event, I hope that helps any, I hope that helps uh, someone who, who, who views this page and enjoys the content. And, uh, yeah, so that was uh, 400 subscribers. That's pretty cool. Thank you guys so much, so, so much. I say again, muito obrigado uh, para vocês. Thank you guys so much. And uh, we will talk to you on the next one. And uh, I, think it might, I think it might be time again for a fun fact or something, or an interview. Yeah, I'm trying to set that up right now. My friend Laisa, uh, she's a lawyer uh, in Brazil, and uh, she's in Salvador, Bahia. And so I'm trying to set up uh, an interview with her so I can post it on the page. I think it, I think it'll be fun. Uh, she actually just left uh, the U.S. and returned home, and uh, it was so funny. I always tell her, I say, "Yeah, you know, I, I know you miss where you were," and she just kind of laughs because I know, you know, Brazil, Brazil is just gorgeous. In any event, um, I hope you guys have an awesome day, and um, I will see you on the next one. This is your man Larry, the American Museum, saying, "Até a próxima." Everybody,